Okay. Hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to make a simple Android application in order to capture images. So basically in this tutorial we are going to learn how we could capture images in your Android application. So let's say if you are making some application for sharing photos. So in that case you need to access the camera and you also need to access the image which we have just created. So in that case you are going to need to learn how we could use or how we could capture image in our Android application. So go ahead and start a new Android Studio project and let's name it as my camera app click next and make sure that you select the api 15 or above click next and select a blank activity and click finish so as you could see this is the basic layout and the first thing which we need to do is that we need to add a button uh, right below here in order to take pictures so the first thing which we do is that we delete the hello world and we drag a small button right here to the bottom so once we have the button, let's give an ID as well as change the text of the button. So let's go to the properties and let's change the ID to my button. And let's change the text of this button to let's say capture. So let's say this is capture. So as you could see, we have a button which is going to capture the images for us. Now the next thing which we need to do is that we need something over here which is going to display the image which which we have just captured so in order to do that we drag and drop a image view here which is going to display the images so we drag it and drop it right over here and now the next thing which we need to do is that we need to give some value to the width and height so we go down here and inside minimum width and minimum height we specify the height as let's say 300 dp as well as the width as 300 dp and as you could see that's our image view right here and let's say we change the margin so go to layout margin and let's say the layout margin is only 50 dp so as you could see now it's laid out properly so this is our image view and this is our button now what we want to achieve is that whenever we click this capture button it should capture images for us so in order to do that we go here inside the on click of the button so in the on click we are going to specify a method that is going to get executed when we click this button so let's say we name this method as launch camera as this button is going to launch the camera and take the picture so once this is done uh, the next thing which we need to do is that we also need to give an id to this image view right here so we select the image view, go to ID and let's name it as my image view. Now once we have assigned the ID to this, the next thing which we need to do is that we need to make this Android application have the permissions to access camera. So in the previous tutorial, you might know that we have to go into this Android manifest in order to give each and every permission. So the permission which we are going to add is going to be the camera so we type uses and in this case instead of a permission as a camera is a feature so we type uses feature and we type android name and the name of our feature is nothing but android dot hardware as camera is a hardware so we type android dot hardware and then we type camera 2 and camera 1 is depreciated so instead of camera we use camera 2 now after this we type android required and we type in true so this is basically a permission or to access a particular feature for our application now once it is done the next thing which we need to do is that we need to type in the code for what happens or how we capture the image so we switch on to main activity.java and we do the same thing as we have done for many tutorials so basically we clean up the code so that it won't confuse us and the next thing which we need to do is that we need to add a variable for the image capture so we type static final 
int and let's name it as request image capture and let's set this equal to one and you'll understand why we are declaring this variable now in order to get a reference to the image view we also create a variable for image view so we type image view and let's name it as my image view now once we are done setting up the variables we go inside on create and we type our main code so the first thing is to get the reference so we also need to have a reference to the button so we type button and let's name the button as my button then we type this equals button to type cast it and then we type find view by id in order to get the reference then we type r dot id dot my button so once we have a reference to button we also need to have a reference to the image view so we type my image view equals and as this is an image view we type image view then find view by id r dot id dot my image view now once we have the reference to both of these we could start writing our code for the method which is going to execute when we click the button for capture so that's it for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll be writing the code for the method for capturing the image so once we have everything set up the next thing which we do is that we go inside on create and we first need to check if the user's device has a camera and if the user's device does not have a camera we need to disable this button right here which is the capture button so in order to do that first we check if the user has a camera so we specify a if condition so if so we check a condition that if the user does not have a camera so we, so we type if not has camera that means the user if the user does not have a camera then we need to disable the button so we type my button dot set enabled and to this we pass in false so this basically sets the button as disabled so as you could see it is showing us an error and that is because we have not yet added the method for has camera so in order to add a method for has camera we type public and as this method is going to return the value like if the user has a camera or not we type in the return type as boolean then we type in the method name has camera and inside it we specify the code which is eventually going to check if we have the camera for the device or not so in order to check if the user has a camera we simply return some value which is a boolean value so we type return and then we use the get package manager which is eventually going to check if our device has a feature and inside the feature we pass in the feature which we want to check so the first thing which we do is that we use the package manager so we type get package manager then we give a dot then we use the method which is has system feature which is used to check if the system has a particular feature and inside it we type in the feature so we type package manager dot feature camera any and this basically returns the value which is eventually going to be either true or false so this package manager right here or the has system feature checks if the package manager has the camera and if does not have a camera then it is going to pass a value to this and eventually this has camera method is going to return a boolean value which is either true or it is false depending upon if the user's device has a camera or not so now the next thing which we do is that if we switch to this capture right here and if you go to the on click we have specified a method which is called as launch camera which is going to get executed when we click this button so we are going to write the code for this method which is launch camera so we hop over to this main activity and we write the code for launch camera right over here so we type public void launch camera and make sure that you have the same name as this and to this we pass view view so inside this method the first thing which we need to create is that we need to launch an intent for starting up the camera so we type intent let's name it as intent then we type this equals new intent and the first thing which we need to start is the image capture so in order to do that we use media store then we give a dot operator 
and we select the option which is action image capture and it is going to perform the action of capturing an image so now once we have the intent with us we need to start the intent and for starting an intent we use start activity for result so we type start activity for result and the first parameter which we are going to pass in is the intent so we pass the intent which we have just created so we type intent and the second parameter is going to be as we are going to request the image capture we type request image capture so this is basically going to request the intent to capture an image so once we are done with this this code right here pretty much takes care of the image capture and once we have captured the image the next thing which we need to do is that we also need to display the image so in order to write code for displaying image we go outside this launch camera and we simply hit alter insert for code completion and we are going to use the override methods and the method which we are going to override is the on activity result so this is the method which we are going to use so we simply click ok and the method is going to be added for you now inside this method we are going to type in some code which is going to check if uh, the image has been properly captured and if it is captured then we are going to get the image and then we are going to set the image view to the image which we have so in order to do that uh, first we are going to check if everything is okay so we type if request code if this is equal to request underscore image capture so this is the first condition we are going to check and we want to check if the request code is equal to result ok so we type result code if this is equal to result underscore ok so this basically says that everything is fine and then we could proceed for further processing so the first thing which we need to do is that we need to get the image so in order to get the image or in order to get the data and that is because the data is specifically the image so we type bundle extras equal data dot get extras now from the get extras we are actually going to get the data and we are going to convert it into the bitmap type and because the photo which we are going to display is going to be in the bitmap format so first thing which we need to do is we create a bitmap variable so let's name this variable as photo then we type cast the result to bitmap and then in order to get the image from this extras we type extras dot get and inside this get we are going to actually extract the data so basically what we have done here is that as we want to get the image which is in the data format we have converted our image into the bitmap format and now once we have this image in our photos in the bitmap format we could use this variable to set the image view so our image view name was my image view then we use the method which is called as set image bitmap so we give a dot operator and type in set image bitmap and we pass in the photo which we have just created so once this is done we are good to go and for this application too you won't be able to run this application on your emulator and that is because your, em uh, your emulator does not have a camera so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to run this application on my device and i'm going to record the video so that you will be able to see how this application performs so as you could see this is this is what i am able to see right now so when i click this button it is going to launch camera and when i click a photo it is going to click a photo and it is going to show me an option retry and ok so i hit ok and as you could see this is our image right here which is my computer and we have our capture button right here so basically we are successful in creating our application so that's it for this tutorial and i hope you guys understood how to capture a photo in your android application so that you could use it for further processing now in case you want to design an application in which you want to use this image further for applying filters to it or anything like that then you could simply use the bitmap image which we have just created so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you